Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, hello everybody, how are you? It's Alex Bennett, it's the Ramble, and uh, I forgot to start the uh, the uh, stream out to uh, YouTube, but I, I did it at the last moment, so you didn't miss anything, you just missed all the promos, okay? Who cares, all right? Anyway, I'm dressed up tonight in my uh, Chinese communist uh, wear uh, with the uh, uh, Obama as a Chinese soldier. We got this in uh, in Hong Kong. Look, look, looky, looky. What? What? Beijing. What did I? What, what did I say? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. No, Beijing. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Look who who we have here. Uh, yes, she of the broken knee category let's let's talk about your uh, <laughs> litany let's <laughs> not uh, of of what's been going on with you no. no let's no let's talk about it because i think it's interesting that i when i married her i got her pretty much in one piece and slowly as i have lived with her she's been slowly falling apart well who's to blame for that what i did what i do did I did I trip you and oh, and break your knee? I don't knee? hear it. What? I don't hear it. It stopped. Well, then you don't hear it. Ah, you, now I hear it. Now you hear. It. Um. Wait a minute. Well, how's it my fault? Because you're. Be I you're, didn't trip you. You're you're I, being near you is a disaster. I didn't. I've been very nice lately. Well, you have. You took your good person pill and you have been fine. Well, I'm not taking my good person pill well, anymore. It's just a matter of. Hours now, <laughs> <laughs> because but I, I'm I'm not feeling as bad. Oh, you're uh, adjusting your. I wrapped you know, my knee. Something. You look with that thing on. Can I say this? You look like a little old lady. I am a little old lady. If if people could see this, it's it's like it's this bandage. It goes from her ankle all the way up to her thigh. It's a wrap. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But anyway, so you. But how, so no. Then see, she had this whole thing with her, uh, with her. Uh, 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 what do you call it? With her. I tripped, and fell on my well, head. Well, you you were literally tripped by a tourist. Oh, that's how it all started. Yeah. Yeah. In you, November. You then fell on your knee, knee. Broke it. Broke the knee. Had surgery. Had surgery. Had to be in a, uh, a, a brace, and brace, I'm still in the brace. In a brace for six weeks, and then she went back to the doctor, and he looked at it and said, "Well, it isn't completely healed yet, so another six weeks for you." Can you believe that? But you don't have to keep it on all the time. At home, I could take it off. Yeah, uh, and uh, so uh, you, you, yeah, then so she's feeling great. Okay, I mean things are starting to heal. The knee is starting to get better. We, she's not in the pain she was in. And and so on, and then the other day, um, she leaves, and because I didn't take out the garbage, she decided to on her way out the door in the morning. That's right. And and, it was, and I tripped. And it was my fault, right? No, it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. I shouldn't have done it. I should have taken out the garbage. Well, there was an inch of space between the door jam and the door mat. Yeah. And there, in that little space, I tripped and fell on my head. And you fell on your head. Head. And then she got headaches and was throwing up. And dizzy. And that is sign of what? Concussion syndrome. Con is that what they call it? Yeah, they said it's a concussion uh, so syndrome. So she went and she, she had headaches for days and days. She was feeling terrible. She was getting better progressively. But then the other day she went and got a uh, MRI. That's MRI. Two MRIs and a, a blood up the neck to the brain test and all kinds of balance tests. Yeah, and it turns out you did have a concussion. Mm -hmm. So now she's been concussed. <laughs> and she, thrust. She has a bad <laughs> knee. What else is wrong? The back is still not oh, that, 100%. That's, that's never going to be 100%. That's never going to be 100%. 
Uh, and uh, so I, I really want my money back. And I haven't been to the gym since November. I haven't been to the gym since Tuesday. Yeah, well, that's you. I only went twice this week. So I haven't gone at all, so there. Well, well you can't go to the gym because you can't do anything. I know, but I miss it. Yeah, well, you know, you may never ride a bicycle again. That's the first thing they want you to do. Really? To, yeah, to get your your knee to go around. The, yeah. The whole, I can't do it yet. But you're going to physical therapy now. Don't you love physical therapy? It's an hour. No, it's not an hour. It's, it's an hour with homework. <laughs> That's true. You know, I, I never liked it when the teacher said, oh, and we have a homework assignment for you. And I would go, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, if they can't teach me in an hour in class, then why should I have to go home and teach myself? Right? That's not what we're paying the teacher for. It's practice, for. what you learn. So anyway, uh, you, you got, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. So that's my story. Uh, so that's her story, and she's sticking to it. And it, it really was, uh, it's quite, a, quite a, a situation that she's been in. And, and I, I want my money back. I didn't get what I, <laughs> what I paid for, you know. Past your uh, warranty. The, yeah. Well, the, you know, I mean, there, well, there are a couple of things wrong with me. A couple? Well, um, no, there's the, the, the numb feet. Yeah. And the touch of the cancer. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if I have cancer or not. You'd like to have it. He it, right now it looks. He says it looks like you could have the you know the cancer everybody gets at seventy or seventy nine or eighty around in there, uh, which isn't deadly. All right, but uh, it's my new excuse. Anytime you want me to do anything around the house. Please, well, not, I've, I've not, got lots of excuses. Not now. I've got cancer. Well, it's it's the best thing I've have against all of this physical stuff you've got. Oh, you played it up for all it was worth for weeks, and well, I was I good was, about it. You were, and I was really in pain. I got I did everything for you. Yes, if you, you did. needed something, I got something for you. And then it stopped. And I happened to mention it to one of my bosses. Wait a minute! It didn't just stop. It stopped for a reason. It stopped. And I happened to no, mention it stopped that, for a reason. I happened to mention it to one of my bosses yeah. and he said, Oh, was this just for a few days and then automatically it stopped? I said, Yes. He said, That's in their DNA. Men have a DNA and it's only for a certain amount of days that they're there and up front and everything and then it stops. And that's what happened. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, isn't it? Nice? Yes. Yeah. Aren't you swell? So at least I got to know that it's a man thing. That it's a man thing, yeah. I see. Okay, well, okay. you know, I mean, uh, I, I, I didn't stop. What happened was you got better, you know, and you were able to get around with a brace but without a cane, and you didn't need all the attention, and... and uh, uh, you know, if I suddenly kept coddling you, you wouldn't get better. Really? Oh, well, no, the, no, because... Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I have to remember that line. You women love to be coddled. You love to be just waited on hand and foot. Oh, really? And yes. you? Huh? With your complaining all the time? What complaining? Oh, my God. It's my foot. It's I, my I hand. I don't have any complaints. It's my balls. It's my diarrhea. It's my this. It's my that. Listen, I'm feeling blessed today. Almost blessed. Almost blessed. Because I ordered this. You got a new toy. No, I ordered this. Uh, it's 1013. I'm just saying. I ordered this expensive Mac Pro. The garbage can? The gar it looks like a garbage can, doesn't it? But it's a very pretty garbage can, but it's a garbage can nonetheless. And I got it from eBay. Uh, it's a $7,000 one that I got for about 3300 Okay? Wonderful. Okay, but that's not the point. Every time I've ordered anything lately, uh, the problem with it is, and it... it, it it was a, a, it's a real problem. You have delivery problems. I del we have, no, we have delivery problems here. How many things don't you get? And I don't even go for them. Let them go back to Amazon. Because yeah. they're all from Amazon. Yeah. 
But so let him go back to Amazon and I'll get a different one. Somehow, because we have, uh, a, a, the nature of our apartment house is they're charging people upwards to $7,000 a month for rent and they can't even have a doorman. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they have a, what do they call them? A presence. A presence. Some guy who sits at a desk. And reads and eats. It reads and eats and doesn't do but, anything. It doesn't go outside. Uh, they, it, you know. So anyway, uh, I have to leave notes like, I'm here, do not, uh, uh, do not give up, you know. Uh, here's my number here's if you number. can't reach me. Because the last time that I ordered something, uh, it was this, uh, the server that I got. And... Uh, it came and it said on Amazon, it, it, it's been delivered. And I go downstairs, it's not, it hasn't been delivered. I go through every lobby in the building and up the entire stairs in our building to see if I can find it. Somehow they dropped it at a front door, something like that. And no. So finally, on that Monday, I, t I called the company and I said, it, they said it arrived, but it never arrived. They said, okay, well, we'll give you your money back or whatever and, you know, uh, whatever. So I immediately went down to B&H and bought it. It was 20 bucks cheaper. <laughs> and um, I went down to B&H and bought it. And, and what I was able to do with B&H, nice tits, huh? Anyway, uh, um, um at, at B and H, uh, I bought it, and all of a sudden, on that f coming Wednesday, like almost five days, six days later, the postman finds it in the other lobby. Like it wasn't there when I looked, but it was there now. Somebody went, "Whoops, we delivered it to the wrong address." <laughs> oh, let's just drop it in the first lobby here and hope <laughs> nobody will notice. All right. <laughs> And, and that caused me no amount of agita. I mean, it uh. just, you know, because I just, I internalize it and I really shouldn't. I should just say, fuck it. Yeah. You know, but I'm looking forward to a toy to play with and then I am supposed to come and then it doesn't. And this problem is inherent with, absolutely with uh, the post office. No question about it. And sometimes UPS and FedEx. Well, UPS is, I would say, 95% reliable and FedEx used to be reliable yeah well here so now they they're sending this thing by FedEx now the good the good news was it was supposed to get here next Wednesday and I got a notice yesterday saying it was coming today okay getting it early but now I'm worried because it's FedEx and I talked to what was it some guy from UPS in the elevator about FedEx and he says oh those guys are the worst <laughs> so I'm thinking Okay, everything's gone wrong before. What's gonna go wrong today? So I leave a note downstairs saying I'm upstairs and I'm here and then don't go anywhere and ring and here's my phone number and you can call me and... and Deliver it. You know, and of course, uh, they never come at 10 o'clock in the morning. They always come at six o'clock at night or whatever. Well, anyway, about 1.30 this afternoon, I get a... Yesterday. Today. Was it today? Today. I got this dreadful message that said, your package has been delivered and signed, signed. for by Schwarzman. <laughs> and I'm going, wait a minute. I didn't sign for any package. And now I'm worried this is going to be the same thing that happened with the post office, right? Right. Um, I, uh, so I immediately go down into the lobby, and there it is. My package has arrived. And I go online, I come back up, and I go online, and I go to FedEx, and they have all the particulars about it, and they have the receipt. They have a photograph of the receipt. Signed. And it's signed. I don't know by who, but it wasn't <laughs> signed by me. Now, you have to realize, folks, and the reason I'm being yelling about this is, this is a $3,300 purchase. You want to sign for it. You want somebody to say, hey, can you show us some identification? You know, because it's an expensive item, all right? It's not like, you know, some $19 worth of tea bags you ordered from Amazon and they got lost somewhere. Uh, so the fact that this guy, number one, leaves it in the lobby where anybody can steal it, okay? That's for starters. 
but then has the fucking nerve to sign my name so he doesn't <laughs> have to come up to the eighth floor, knock on the door, and it, I even said I was here. I had there's he's had to see the note, you know. So I mean, that's what's got me all bothered. Now I'm thinking about calling uh, FedEx and you complaining, should. absolutely and complaining. But I, all I can think of is if this guy ever has to deliver to me again, I'm in trouble because he'll he'll do something like sign for it and then throw it out the door or something. Like Probably, that. it's ten twenty. But anyway, I imagine this thing would come and I'd have all kinds of problems with it. And I only had one problem: I couldn't get the mouse working, so I uh, uh, I exchanged mice and. Uh, there's a new way of getting a mouse going where you, you plug it, literally plug it into the computer, and then it recognizes the mouse. And it's so I got that going. Once I got that going, everything was just an absolute breeze, no good. problem. Good, good, good. So I'm not sitting here depressed about it or worried that something isn't working or whatever. Can yeah. I slide over? No, we got 10 minutes. I'm leaving at 10:30 exactly. Why? Because I'm tired. So am I. And my knee hurts. And my knee hurts too. And my concussion is... And my concussion is killing me. <laughs> mm. so, but I, I was worried about you with that concussion. Because here's, here's what happened the first day. <laughs> the first day. She has to write a note to... To somebody in my office. Somebody in her office. So she writes this letter about... I don't know what it was about. And I was having trouble with it. So I asked uh, Alex to look over Look at it. <laughs> It made no sense at all. It was complete gibberish. It was. <laughs> it was like, I for thou is going now to the thing that we did when we had it. Something like you, that. I mean, it's really that bad. That bad. You were not able to coherently write a sentence. I know. I couldn't stand up either. And I've never, I've never dealt with anybody who had that situation. I never did know. either. <laughs> so there. As the days went, then a couple of days later, she had to write another note to her office. I said, let me read it first, okay? And it was okay. And I went to myself and said, oh, she's getting better. But you literally, you had a concussion. Yeah. And she was throwing up like crazy. And uh, uh, I'm dizzy. And dizzy, and, uh, and she's dizzy anyway. But you know, that's another story. Now, how are you going to be able to tell when you're not concussed anymore? When I'm not concussed? Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. They call it. Is that what they call yeah, it? I think you get a concussion, and if you have a concussion, you're concussed. You're concussed. Yeah. And what did he say? Con con concussion syndrome. Concussion syndrome. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he was a neurologist, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go to. I have a neurologist. Do we have neurologists? Together? Yes. Yeah. And dentists and yeah. internists. And you, you don't. You don't have a, uh, um, a urologist, though. No, but you don't have a guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't have a guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He does do women. Because in the office were all these pamphlets, you know, they have all these pamphlets from various companies. Yeah. And it was like for some drug to keep women from peeing their pants. <laughs> so, so as a urologist, he deals with women too. Yeah, but not as much as men. You go to the urologist office, folks, oh, and it's not, nothing but old guys. In fact, on the, uh, on the Kaminsky uh, uh, method, uh, there is an actual scene where he's sitting waiting to see the doctor in the room and they're all all old guys and uh, they're all just dis he's discussing with some of them like how's your peeing going I, I like I like what uh, uh, what's his name uh, uh, the guy's on the show with Michael Douglas is it uh, it's uh, Alan Arkin he says uh, uh, I pee in dots and dashes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, That's uh, a good show. It is. Oh, it's a very good show. Um, but anyway, gee, I like this. I love this cap. Good. You know? It, it, the only thing is I wish it were a better cap. It's kind of like... It's kind of made in China. It's made in China. <laughs> yeah. No. And 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 the Chinese star. I mean, I just wish I'd like to get a real. Hey, if you're in China, next time you're in China, see if you can find me a real uh, military hat. They'll probably have it in Hong Kong again. Huh? They'll probably have it in Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. What are you you're looking at the time? Aren't you? You just keep looking at the I'm time. I'm tired. I'm tired. You know. This is a favor. I'm rolling over. 
No, so you're I not. could have no, you're not. five minutes with your audience. No, no. Okay. No, because then I have to. Well, I have it. I'm going to turn on this uh, fan. Have to turn on the fan so that I'm uh, feeling better. Huh. Keep going. Anyway, uh, oh, let me see here. Uh, uh, it, uh, by the way, if you haven't looked at our GabNet site, you know I've redone it. Have you? Well, did you notice it's redone? I haven't yeah. looked. I've done it in the new uh, dark mode. Yes. Yeah, which is a, uh, and uh, it uh, works. It looks pretty good, and it's it got looks. all the stuff. And you know, we we've, we've got everything working again. You know, we thought we had lost uh, tune in, but we got them back. And you thought you lost uh, Skype. Skype. Oh, and that we couldn't do a citizen panel anymore, and we found a way around that. Now, Damien says that he's not converting to the new one because he knows that as soon as he does, Skype will find a way to make sure that one doesn't work That's either. right, that's right. But from what I understand, they can't do that with this one. There's some reason why, because whoever uh, took this old Skype put it as a program on its own that doesn't rely on using the internet to get stuff to make the Skype work or whatever. And uh, that they, they, it's really a version that they can't do anything about. So. Four minutes. I'm just saying. I'm rolling over. No, you're not yes, rolling I am. over. No, you're not. No, you're not. Are you really rolling I over? I want to have four minutes you, sitting, you, 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 sitting you, you, next you, you, to you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, I've got it so you can't move. Oh, oh, wow, you're hurting my foot. Uh, well, get your foot out of the way. I'm, 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 I'm holding, I'm keeping her from rolling over. <laughs> keeping me hostage. Well, don't fuck up my golf ball. All right. See, I have to use my golf ball. Uh, really? Yeah. I say, are you Are you over now? Oh, look at you. You're, you, you see, you're not even in there. Okay, let me open up the lines. What the fuck? And, uh, wait a minute, hold on. We didn't have much to talk about. And we didn't argue. See, we lost audience because we didn't argue. That's true. They love it when we argue, okay? You love it when we argue. What? You love it when we argue. Okay, well, anyway. Hold on a second. I have to, I have okay. to do stuff. Don't, you know, don't, don't uh, screw with me here. I'm trying to get things ready. Uh, we're we're online, by the way, folks. If you want to call us on Skype, please do. I'll be here for another two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she wa she she wanted to talk to you. That's that's. I wanted what... to say hi. Yeah. Check in and say hi. Do you know I'm still I still have a lot of snot coming out of me from that cold. Still, I mean, it's like well, it's it, breaking up. No, I, no, it has broken up, but well, it just it's coming it, out. It's like there's this well of snot in oh, my body, Alex. and it's it's slowly vacating That's the body. Gross. What do you mean it's gross? Snot is not gross. Snot is gooey. You know, snot is not pretty. But if you were snot, you'd want people to have more respect for you. Okay, now you see we go early and nobody calls. Well, so I'm, I'm finished my last minute and a half here. Well, here comes Phil Meyer. Hi, Phil. Okay. It's Josh Wheeler. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, and then can we add Josh to the group? Josh Wheeler to the group. Hey, Josh. Uh, hey, Phil. Hi. Hey, I'm not near the microphone. Yeah, well, you sound okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Josh, are you there? Apparently... Josh has got a problem, I think. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. Here comes Josh. Yeah, now we're okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In a moment, uh, it'll whirl around for a little bit, and then we'll get it. There sorry we go. Sorry that you're not fully out of that cast. Uh, your leg irons. My brace? Yeah. Well, she's out of the brace. She's not wearing the brace right now. But I have to uh, wear that side. Yeah. 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 I, have, I have six more weeks. Wow. Let's see yeah, here. Let's see here. I, out of out of the five people that are here right now, only one is not a sick person, and that's uh, uh, that's Josh Wheeler. <laughs> you know, I mean, we got Charlie is missing some toes. Phil is missing a prostate. I've got at least numb feet. Okay. And a touch of the cancer. And a touch of the maybe a touch of the cancer. We don't know. And uh, and I have. Uh, Bone problems. Uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. 
Here comes here comes Charles. Hey now. Charlie. Hey Charlie. Hi. Oh, Hi Margaret. Hi. Turn off your audio, will you? You you're listening. You got Didn't I? No. It's coming through. There we go. Now you're fine. Guys, it's ten thirty. I'm gonna say early good night to you. Good seeing you, Charlie. Phil. She's good using gosh. she's using the leg and her concussion as an excuse. Kiss kiss. Well, she's just trying to one up you if you know, you got cancer. She's got the leg issue. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. Show them the Thank show them the leg as you leave when you stand up and you're walking out. This looks like a little old lady wearing like those those elastic those rubber socks or whatever. You know, that old ladies wear. Look look at this. This is what wait, I wait. wear under the brace. Uh, uh, oh, there yeah. Wow. There you go. There, All right. Wait, wait a minute. Let me let me do it so that the audience can see it. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. There we go. There's the uh, see audience. Okay. That's uh, that's that's, uh, that's her. That's that's. Well, don't do that thing. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hello. Uh, oh, I, now we got. Uh, let me see here. I got to do some uh, adjusting because I'm my picture is jumping in on top of uh, Rob's. Uh, hello, Rob. How are you? Oh, I'm going to bring the mic down. Good, good. Yeah. Friday. I'm very happy. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, later, uh, Rob, I want to ask you about uh, what Mueller said and the uh, in response to uh, the BuzzFeed article about uh, Cohen and, and Trump. Yeah, supposedly he said that... Uh, it's not, uh, that not, it's accurate. not true. It's not accurate. Not accurate. But BuzzFeed is standing behind it. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Did Mueller say that? Yes. His, somebody from his uh, team made a statement saying it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it could be. It, it there, there's some truth to it, but it's but the the statement as it was made was not accurate. Listen, don't worry, Phil. In the end, you're going to find your boy being like in wearing. Hey, so far, the dossier is not correct. The statement is not accurate. What do you mean? A whole bunch of things are correct from the dossier. Yeah, what they're pissing on the uh, on Trump. Well, that, that, that that's that, the only thing they haven't verified yet. But well, not the only thing. That's one of the things they haven't verified yet. But there are a whole bunch of things that are. Yeah. That, yeah everybody right, around well, him is going to prison. That's correct. Well, no, nah, they'll get pardoned. Uh, <laughs> they're going to prison, whether they get pardoned or not. They're going to prison, and and they're, they're going to prison, and, and 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 Trump will be joining them shortly. Yeah. Hopefully, if there's uh, if there is justice in this world. Uh, well, well, that's a big if. <laughs> All right. Well, here was your opportunity to say that you were wrong about oh, yeah. uh, the buzz well, thing. you weren't wrong. It was uh, an erroneous, maybe. Right. Erroneous. Everybody, every, e e no, everybody that has been reporting it, and I, and, I, and I say this because I have noticed this, has been very, very careful to say that it's all alleged and has not been proven, and we don't know that it's true. Right. We are well, simply why would you no, what, 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 let, me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. They were saying, this is what BuzzFeed is reporting, and they're standing by what they say. And right. But every one of them has said, this is alleged by BuzzFeed. Uh, our independent sources, for instance, here at MSNBC, have not been able to, uh, uh, to verify it. Right. That's, that's an odd statement. Independent sources at MSNBC? No, no, no. <laughs> they didn't say independent sources. I didn't say that, Phil. I yeah. said in our, our uh, uh, you said uh, our independent no, sources our, at no, MSNBC. No, our, 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 we've tried to verify it at MSNBC, and we cannot verify it. Okay, but they don't care. Well, they don't, they believe don't it or not, verify. that's the same way Fox is reporting it, and the same way CNN is reporting it. I don't think so. Yes, but, it is. Uh, I watched. Them. I watched all three of them. Yeah, and okay. Well, uh, I got you on that one. No, you so, didn't get uh, me on anything. Uh, one, yes. one for ninety nine. Okay, you got <laughs> it. It's it's an improvement. One for ninety nine. Josh, when you first called this program, was Phil around at the time? I think he was, wasn't he? I think so because I called the very very beginning. I mean, the first show. I think so. Did he call then? I don't yeah. know. 
I don't know. I think he did. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yes. Yeah, but no, it, was, it was about two weeks in because I okay. was waiting to get my new mic. Well, all okay. I'm saying, yeah, so all, the all I'm saying is nothing has changed, Josh. <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing. No, nothing. Uh, yeah. You know, and uh, I, uh, I just, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm upset by uh, a president who. Uh, I, I saw this woman on TV today. Admittedly, she may be the only case of this happening, but still, it, it's a sad commentary on uh, the uh, government situation where she is uh, selling her plasma, uh, which is more difficult than selling your blood. Your blood, they just take your blood out of you. When they take plasma out of you, they suck the blood out of you, remove the plasma, and then put what's left back in you. And she's selling I, it. I thought they used that circular thing to get the to separate the Yes, plasma. they do, but then they put your yeah. blood back in. Really? And she, and she said yeah. she said she gets fifty dollars a time. She doesn't. And that's oh, it's it. gone up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to pay her. How bills. much does she get for a blowjob? <laughs> she may be considering that next, but she didn't say. All right. When I used to do that 20 years ago, it was $20 a But pop. the stories that we're beginning to hear about, we're hearing two kinds of stories. Uh, the sad story is, of course, that uh, there are people who are out of work, uh, who are not getting an income, uh, who are make, uh, doing everything they can to make ends meet, don't know where their next meal is coming from. And the good news is there are a lot of people out there who are helping them out. There are a lot of banks that have said, don't worry about the loan till this thing is over with. Uh, there are not every bank, but a lot of banks. Uh, people like, uh, I think, Fios have uh, said, uh, don't worry about your, uh, your cable bill. Uh, we'll take care of it for the time being. And then when you're back on your feet again, we'll, we'll have you find a payment plan to pay it back. So there are a lot of companies and people who are doing nice things. They've opened up. Believe it or not, food kitchens for these people. I mean, a lot of restaurants have. Yeah. Uh, offered, but don't you uh, find, you know, it, it, and it, 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 by the way, in a recent poll, uh, most Americans blame Trump for this. Yeah. You know, because he took he, the blame from the beginning. He, he took the blame well, from the beginning, but now he's trying to divert it off onto the Democrats, and it's not working because he said, I'm going to do it, and you can blame me for it. Well, tomorrow's a pivotal day. Well, how's it? Three o'clock. Yeah, Trump plans to make an offer to end the shutdown tomorrow, not declare a national emergency. So we'll see what that is. He's going to be on television tomorrow, and he has a plan. What's he going to do, cave and then claim he won? Well, no, he could do that. And you know what? Presidents have done that before, and that would actually be respectable. Yeah. Because he's the president. And he's got his people hurting. Mm -hmm. So if he did that, that would be respectable. Yeah, yeah. But I will see what his plan is. Yeah, um, it was a. Uh, it's a. It, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to. It's. It, but it is. It is kind of sad. But we'll get into that in a little bit. You know, is is there anything yeah. happy we can talk about? Yeah, I want to hear it's about Friday. your new computer. <laughs> About my uh, new you, computer. You said you said you had a hard time getting it. That somebody signed for it, and uh, no, not but, somebody. The FedEx delivery guy signed for it. You uh, know uh, the the plant that I work in. Yeah, has been having that same exact issue for months now. With the FedEx guy comes every day, at least once, sometimes twice. Mm -hmm. And there's always you know the same guy working the dock or whatever, but. Sometimes he's not around, he's taking something somewhere else, and the FedEx guy doesn't want to wait for him or come into one of the offices, and he will just leave all the stuff there. And we've gone back and looked for packages that were supposed to come to my department or something, and we can't find it, for example. And, you know, they do the same thing you did. They look it up, you know, in the FedEx. Here's a picture of the receipt. Oh, and it was signed by for by, you know, Mr. You know, Mr. Moore, the doc attendant, you know, by S. Moore. And then they go and they look up, you know, they call up to HR and they say, hey, uh, did he even work this day? And they're like, uh, no, he was on vacation that day. I mean, he wasn't even there. So, you know, the FedEx guy is, you know, doing that. Yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. And, and in, this, right. in this case, this is a $3,300 purchase. OK. Well, you know, that's, right. that, that would be if that were the U.S. mail, that's mail tampering, isn't right. it? Right. And yeah. my department has been missing things that are like critical to plant operations. 
yeah. you know, and we can't find it. And, you know, it. I don't know how many people listening have worked in, like, a manufacturing environment or whatever. Mm-hmm. If they have, then they're going to understand what I say. They freak out over, you know, oh, my, yeah. this isn't running. It's This is an emergency. You know, I mean, it's just everything's on a schedule. And yeah. When it's not on well, schedule, it's well, a big deal. Well, well, what bothered me, as I say, is because it is a high-ticket item. And the reason why they wanted a, a, a signed Sign- a signature for it was because they wanted to make sure it got to your front door and that right. you were okay, you know, and, and, and you got it all right. And, uh, I wonder if there's something going on with their union or something, because if, if it's like an epidemic. Are they unionized? Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't yeah, think UPS, FedEx, UPS in New York is unionized. Yeah, I don't I think don't FedEx know. is. I'm, I'm not sure, but I know my brother is a is a and a pickup and delivery driver for UPS. Mm-hmm. But before he worked for UPS, you know, he did the same exact thing for FedEx. And my understanding was FedEx is mostly like subcontractors. Like FedEx has a route in my little town. And it takes two guys to do the route every day, so I can start a business. Mm-hmm. And then I hire two guys to drive the FedEx trucks. I buy the truck, put their stickers on it, etc. And then I can pay them basically, as far as I understand it, if I'm wrong, someone needs to call and explain it better. But then you can pay those, like they pay you X for the route, and then you can pay your guys whatever you want. You can pay them a shit ton, or you can you know, treat them like you know, uh, <laughs> hired slaves, basically, or whatever you want to do. And that is how FedEx works. But UPS is everyone works for the the company ups like like where i work it's unionized it's all the same it's you know all that kind of stuff but i think fedex is like the opposite and then you have dhl which is just a joke (laughs) yeah well all i'm saying is is that and i'm thinking about complaining because uh you know i mean it got to me okay you know i managed to get it but uh but it was sitting down there in the lobby and if i if i didn't know it was down there if i wasn't waiting for these messages to come through uh, uh, somebody could have stolen it, walked away with it, you know. Was it insured? Uh, I have no idea. I don't think it was. It must. You know, it wouldn't must be have... as easy if it got lost. It would not be as easy as Amazon because you bought it off of a guy on eBay. Not that you wouldn't get your money back, but it wouldn't be as slam dunk as, like, say, Amazon. These people seem to be pretty decent. I mean, they 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 run a company down there called Max something. I can't remember. And they uh, uh, they have all Mac these Daddy. they have Mac all Daddy, these that's what I was Mac thinking Daddy. all these no it wasn't back Daddy it was uh, it refurb they're refurbished and uh, um, in this case they said superb condition there was a not a scratch on it not a scratch it looked if I showed it to you right now you'd go oh you just bought that today down at the Apple store huh because it looks that good. The, the way they finish it, that uh, cover, yeah. uh, I don't think it can scratch unless you dropped it. What do you mean? You know? uh, it, it's like a uh, anodized metal. Well, it's metal. Uh, it is metal. Yeah. I, because it came today, and because it's been traveling across the country in, in cold weather, it was ice cold. Even yeah. even mm-hmm. though it was wrapped up and everything, it was ice cold, so I let it sit out for a while before I even turned the damn thing on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, just put it in the microwave under the frost. It, <laughs> it, it, so so far, no buyer's remorse. I mean, this thing is just a killer. I mean, twelve core, uh, sixty-four gigabytes of memory, uh, a, te- a terabyte of uh, flash memory. SSD. Yeah, mm-hmm. SSD, and it just it just uh, it powers through programs that used to take a minute to load in. Takes like you know. Uh, uh, 10 seconds. Well, when you start doing stuff uh, in uh, Photoshop and you move the slider mm-hmm. uh, or, uh, you know, you, you, you click on something, it'll render almost immediately yeah. rather than have to, there's no lag. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't use Photoshop that much. Uh, you know, I use it for uh, Final Cut Pro and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, same thing. Uh, and it's very, very fast, you know. Very fast. Uh, it's it's an amazing piece of equipment, uh, which I was going to keep in the guest room and play with it there and do a lot of editing and stuff there. But it's so good that I'm trying to figure out how I can have it replace my main Mac Pro here in the office because it's that that good. Okay. I, I know how you can do it. 
you move it from that bedroom into the office and plug it in. Yeah, well, that's about <laughs> what I'm going to do, you know. But yeah. I'm saying at first I got to get everything loaded into it, and 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 then I also have a hard, uh, external hard drives that are representing the internal hard drives of the Final Cut Pro. And uh, as soon as I'm sure that everything that I'm using, uh, I can continue to use um, as is. I'll, I'll be well, doing just it. use use the uh, the hard drives to for your data and and put your programs on the SSD. Uh, no, I don't have to do that. You don't have to, but no, no, they load just as fast off of that. Uh, uh, the other, you know, I only put programs in that I use constantly. But the thing is that I'm going to have to. Uh, uh, there are things that I'm going to have to get working there and get them ready to work over here because all the stuff I do, like posting the shows and things like that, I do on this Mac Pro. So I've got to make sure that I'm ready to go to do that and that everything is smooth and that I, I'm not going to have a lot of trouble. If once I get it in and it's working and it, I pretty much have the same system I have here uh, or representative of it uh, then then we're okay you know then we're you know we're in. you could use one of those they have those uh, utilities that are they take what what do they call them um, utility or? Yeah, it's like a personality uh, utility that takes all of your settings from your one computer and moves it to the secondary yeah the, the only computer. the only problem is see the only problem is in in trying to do that with this and that makes it impossible to do uh is that i'm going from a machine that has hard drives in it four big four terabyte hard drives in it and i'm going to a thing that has uh an ssd okay a one terabyte ssd so then i've got all these other external drives that represent the current drives that I have in here so that I can go to them and reference them and I know where stuff is put and so on and so forth. But um, that that's the thing I've got to do seamlessly, and that's going to take time to get it all going. But I would love to have it in here, but I don't even know where I'm going to put it, you know. Is it silent? Oh, it's does make I didn't I don't hear, hear a, it a little I, but it's I don't silent hear, compared to I don't hear most. I don't hear a sound coming out of it. Really? Don't hear a sound hey, Alec, coming out of it. Yeah. I, I bought some a piece of hardware that let me transfer the from one drive to another. No 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 no, no 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 but that's how I get that's how I got stuff onto this uh, onto these um, external drives. I use a thing oh. called clone clone whatever uh, something clone and it Connects makes up. an exact copy of the drive onto I, you know, I take an eight terabyte drive, split it into two partitions, make it into two drives, and then I put, use that to clone an exact copy of the drive onto there. I see. You see, but uh, yeah, but you have the SSD now. With, yeah, but the SSD it. throws the whole thing off. You know, yeah, they're yeah. small. Well, it's not fact that they're small, as much as it is that they they have a different purpose. Okay, yeah. than a hard drive. A hard drive has a certain purpose, plus it stores a lot of other stuff too. So I've I've really got to just be able to get everything working so that I can one on a weekend I can move stuff over here and we, I'll have uh, some problems, but I'll be able to adjust it. And I got to figure out where I've got room to put it. I can't put it back there. I could put it on the floor over here, except uh, for if you have to turn it on and off uh, with the button. For one reason or another, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to get to. Uh, it's hard to even see the button. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. I I don't have that problem. I mean, you know, I but I just I don't know where I'm going to put the uh, uh, the the machine. It's a small machine. It's only about yeah. this round. I mean, yeah, it's it's wow. rare that you have to do anything with it. You I have it. it I have it behind your I have monitor. It, I have it sitting on top of my Mac Mini right now. That's how big the footprint is. You yeah. know. Uh, and very light, very light. I think they weigh under five pounds, something like that, you know. And and to get inside to open it up to see all the drives and maybe to replace memory or whatever, you just flick a little switch, the whole tube comes out. You can see all the inner workings of the thing, and then you can put the tube back in. Yeah, here you can show them. You can show them what we're talking about. That's it. That's the boy. 
What's it called? It's called, it's uh, the Mac Pro. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get one. Yes. Yeah. They're they're the, the in the configuration I have. Get ready to spend seven thousand dollars. A new. I'm no, not gonna new. get one. New. New. <laughs> and and this is the one I bought was used and I paid thirty three hundred for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Professional machine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I built a I built a PC. It's professional. Yeah, he it still doesn't work as good these. as that. I'll what? tell you something. You yeah. can't build these. Uh, to be honest you know, with you, I built my to, own. to be honest with you, depending on what you want to do with with a piece of equipment, uh, the Mac is very good for things with audio and video and yep. and photography. The PCs are very good at things like accounting and secretarial work and uh, uh, even uh, making uh, websites and things like that. Yes, Rob? Pieces aren't good for shit. They're just cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're well, good. Unless you build your own. If you build it's, your own, it's different. It's still crap. It's, you the know the problem it, with building your own, the problem you know, with building your own is yeah. the components right. aren't always set up to work with each yeah. other. No, no. Like my, if you my, buy if you buy something from HP, every all those components are tested and they know that they're compatible. But okay, when you so, build you build your own, there's uh, no. That's not true. My my son is an MIS person and he knows exactly where to go. He knows exactly what goes with what. And there are websites that tell you absolutely there are. And I bought everything that works perfectly together. Yeah, I bought it do. all on Amazon. He put it together last. for me in a half an hour. The thing worked. <laughs> back back in the eighties. Huh? Back in the eighties, don't last. I uh, built uh, three. I don't four, know, man. I, I built forever. I, in the eighties, I built four three uh, four eighty six computers. I went to this place called Domino's, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you, they sell you the parts and so forth, and you plug it all in. Well, you, there was, and, wasn't much to do. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. You you had a power yeah, supply. Really and the yeah. power supply had wires that came out of it that went into everything that needed power, like your hard drives or whatever. And you got yeah. a case, and you got yourself some hard drives, and then you got yourself a main processor, and that was it. That's all you needed. Yeah. You know, uh, who, who was the guy? That oh, yeah, he had to have an audio board too, right? Alex, who was the guy that uh, I can't remember his name? He uh, he owned that uh, bagel place down off, off Chestnut Street. Uh, you mean the, the stuffed it, bagel? Stuff bagel. He went into doing uh, uh, setting up. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Where computers talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I made the three four eighty sixes, and then he came in and he set up a program called Landtastic, and yes. uh, and it uh, allowed me to look at you know what was on the other one, and two computers could print to one printer, and uh, it was uh, it was an interesting thing. Well, it, you know, I, I use um, I use a PC for this show every night. That's mm -hmm. what does the video, what uh, it does the switching on the video, all of that, and uh, I've been very happy with the PC for that, for this function, for this function, it has been almost flawless. Okay. I haven't had it. I have one desktop. It's in the studio. It's a Windows machine, mm -hmm. right? I'm sorry I have it, but it's better than a laptop that's a Windows machine. The, you cannot beat a laptop Mac. You pick up the lid, instant on. You work with it. You, pl you, when you, you could stop wherever you are, close the lid, nothing's lost. There's no got to figure out what's going on and hard drives churning they just got it figured out mac is just elegant yeah. it's built functional well metal uh, uh, i would have never I agree. for Can't instance kill it. Uh, I, I, the difference between a pc and a mac is this i would have never Microsoft. bought a pc off of ebay, eBay. But That's I, true. But I would buy a Mac off of eBay because I agree with my you, feeling yeah. is I have a Mac Pro sitting here that's been sitting here since 2011, right? It's been on pretty much for all that time. Think about that. Yeah. It has not gone bad once on me. I never have had to replace a part or do anything like that. So I figure I get a Mac Pro second hand save over 50 percent maybe 60 percent of the original cost and i've got a machine that's probably going to last me quite a while this is a 2013 mac pro 
but I don't know when it was made. It could have. It, it had. It came with. Um, uh, what was it? Not the last OS. Uh, Sierra. Uh, 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 no, no, it was Sierra. Not High yeah. Sierra, but Sierra. Yeah. And then there was High Sierra, and so so you got to figure it's maybe four years old. Okay. Uh, that thing's. This thing's going to keep working for quite a while. Yeah, um, and the interesting thing is, with all the Windows, by the way, even, I, had, even I was if, a Windows guy. By the way, if you bought a, if them. you bought a Mac Pro today, it would say, uh, it would say 2013 on it. Yeah, that's what mine says. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, they don't I, make I, I bought even mine if they were made friend. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I I bought mine from a friend who did a lot of heavy video editing on his, and then he ended up uh, deciding to sell it, and he he got a PC. But it was close to ten thousand uh, dollars. It was. Uh, it had so much going on uh, with it. It was such a strong machine, uh, and I, he did a lot of research before he did it. But when he sold me this, uh, this was a four thousand dollar machine, maybe a little bit more, forty four hundred, and uh, new. But yeah. I bought it for two grand. And so the a lot of the professional, like Avid and such, work off PC now. Yeah. So, well, like, like if you do professional editing, Avid, and all that, those are PCs. Uh, they've they've gotten away from Mac for some reason. I, I couldn't tell you why. Uh, I, I can, I, well, yeah, I can see why. Maybe. I can see why. I think that, um, you know, you're talking here about the, with a Mac Pro. You know, you're talking about a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment. If you, the less sophisticated the equipment is the less problems you're probably going to have with it. Yeah, you know, but when, the Mac when pros, you, I mean, Well, if, if for instance, the, uh, the, board, the main board goes out on this thing, that's $1,400 to replace. Yeah. With a PC, you just buy a new PC. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I bought this, uh, if, you know, I was toying with the idea of getting one, but I wouldn't have switched from that Mac Mini uh, unless this deal had come a, come a wrong, you know, when uh, yeah. he said, okay, you know, two, jan two grand, I said, okay, you know, I'm in. And, uh, you know, otherwise I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have bought it. That Mac Mini was just fine. Until I got into Macs in the early, probably around 2010 was the first time I got a Mac. From the 90s on, every Windows machine I've ever had in a year, you have Slow to reinstall down. Windows. Because of all the updates and all the crap, it just they, they run like shit. Well, all I'm saying this is Mac, that, I've never reinstalled this. I've upgraded it, yeah, but I've never reinstalled an operating system because it was working wacky or slow or sluggish. They just freaking are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I I got this thing and uh, I paid for it in a kind of interesting way. So you know, because I'm using it to edit photographs. Okay. Oh, so, uh, so your uh, inheritance uh, <laughs> yeah. probably paid for it. Yeah, because I'm doing work on that. Yeah. See? So I need that. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it, you know, I'm, and I'm going to do a documentary on her too, with all the photographs and so on. So, but the fact is that. Uh, I could have, I would have never, I, I would have never bought this if I bought it brand new. Okay, it's just too expensive, right? right. Uh, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And the is new it one, upgradable at all? Is it upgradable? Yeah. I could. Is there any upgradable? He, he doesn't have to. Yeah, He's got no, everything all, the, in there all, he all, needs. all the memory the, is, the memory is upgradable, still, but I've got 64 gigs. You're maxed ter, out. 64 gigs in there. So no, you couldn't put well, in, no, you couldn't actually, you, actually, I think I could get other memory and bring it up to two, uh, 128. Uh, really? I yeah. didn't know. He, yeah. I thought 64 was a max. On yeah, it. That's uh, the one thing. My Windows machine in there, I could go in there and take out that processor and put in a new one faster. The Windows? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's I, I I bought it from a company, a custom yeah. made. I didn't buy a, a P, an HP or a, a Dell or whatever. But, I I bought yeah. a machine that was built for a studio because yeah. I wanted quiet. Well, what I like about this too is that you can add memory to it or take memory away or whatever. You can probably change the SSD in there to a, a two terabyte if you if you wanted to spend that kind of money, uh, but. Uh, you could do all of that with this. 
you can't do that with the Mac Mini. The other option was to buy a Mac Mini in the new configurations, but I don't think they had anywhere the power uh, at a reasonable price that this one would would be. Okay. Yeah, my old one was uh, was was pretty powerful. By the way, you know, let it, me knock on wood, but this thing looks like it's going to serve me just fine for quite a while. Plus, yeah. this company offers extended warranties for up to three, get it? up three years. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you why. Because if something goes bad with it, I'm going to call them on Monday and ask them. But if something goes bad with it, it's not like I can take it down to somebody locally and get it fixed. <laughs> I have to mail it back to them in California to take advantage yeah. of the. Are you sure? Uh, yes. So, but I'm going to call them and ask them. But I think that's the case. And if that's the case, it's not worth it to me. You know? Yeah, you better train. off dealing with Apple. Huh? Who's got a train in their backyard? Oh, that's me. There's, there's a train. Let me turn my mic off. Oh. No, that's okay. We love the sound hey, of. Hey Ray, can you sing yeah. that song? There's a train a coming. Yeah, I hear train the, a coming. I hear a train a coming. It's yeah. going around the bend. I ain't been somewhere since yeah, well, I don't know I'm when. So used to I'm so right. to it. Well, now, 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 now Alex owes fifty sometime. bucks. I hear a train a coming. What? It's going around the bend. Okay, that's it. Now Alex owes fifty bucks. Why? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, copyright for that song. Copyright for the song. <laughs> no, because we didn't use 32 bars. Yeah. No, that wasn't 32 and bars. It was no. parody. No. It was no. a parody, so you get to use that. The hand train are coming. It's coming running, man. Ba -ba 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 that would be 32 bars. Oh, wait a minute. I just spent 50 bucks. You know, you know that's you the other thing. You just spent 3000 <laughs> Folks, I would love to start a music program on Gabnet. Huh? And you I would, would too, right, too. Ron? Yeah. I'd actually fix my studio. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've always been, I've been looking into it, you know, how much it would cost. And I, none of the deals make sense. Well, have you, have you looked into it? No, it's not just 500 a year. It's, it's some weird algorithm that was invented by a uh, Martian. Uh, uh, what about you, all these people that do internet radio stations? They they spend that much money? Guys that run radio stations out of their homes and stuff? Well, I'm still looking for the deal, right, that works. Uh, but I think you you have to write down everything you, write, you play. You know, it, it the thing is that with the preponderance of podcasts, it would do these uh, music licensing organizations a lot of good if they came out with a very simplistic non-commercial license i i would be willing yeah. i would be willing to pay 500 dollars a year if i could play anything i wanted to play but then that, that competes with the commercial stuff that they're making a lot of money on no no they're not right no well don't they you said that they pay per song no 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 for instance do you know how much the license a year is I thought it was 500 bucks wait a minute you know how much serious satellite radio pays oh, a year man. for music oh. A lot of money. They got sued, right? No, that wasn't that. That was just one little deal oh. with uh, Flo and Eddie. Uh, but uh, Loris and Leach and Eddie. Yeah, um, uh, they pay. If I remember correctly, the last time I was there, two hundred and fifty million dollars a year in music licensing. That's nuts. <laughs> wow. Well, most of, most for them, up because well, they just raised the fee for, again. Yeah, but for them, I do, to be honest with you, I don't think it is nuts, Rob. From this standpoint, they have about fifty percent of their programming are yeah. music channels and and non commercial music channels, and yeah. they make their money off of those music channels. So if they're bringing in, let's say, five billion dollars a year. Don't you think the record companies are owed two hundred and fifty million of that for the music? Well, it's not the music? record companies; it's, it's, it's the, the publishers. The publishers. Publishers, yeah. By the way, people don't realize this: the artists don't get any money. Yeah. Wow. Only, only the right yeah, songwriters. Mom. Yeah. But you know, if they would just come out with a plan that was like five hundred dollars a year, and you could play all you wanted to play as long as you weren't on a, a on a commercial channel, you didn't have any commercials. 
I'd be happy to pay that 500 and let Rob come on and play all the music he wants to, and I would have my Frank Sinatra show, and, you know. But uh, the, the cost is I can't find the... Yeah, if they could just tell me, hey, here's what you're going to have to pay per year in order to play everything. And I, 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 I can't find it out. There's no place to go and get that, that information. Now, if somebody wants to do the research for me, please. So you mean, you mean they, they'll just tell you that um, you'll get a bill. We don't know how much. Well, it isn't that. It's that I can't find out the exact amount. There's no place where you go and they say, okay, if you're non-commercial, and you're not running commercials, and you're a podcast. You're a podcaster. Uh, here's the podcaster rate, uh, and and that it's it's all all of the music publishing. Uh, it's ASCAP and it's uh, BMI. Okay, and we'll. Uh, so what's what's the question again? How how much do you uh, the uh, how do you find out how much it'll cost to get a uh, like a Sony or which which. Uh, which no, package? Do no, you want? we don't want a package. I want the ability to I, you know, I have <laughs> thousands of songs here in my music library. I want to do a show. I want to be able to play any of them. Uh, well, I'm asking my friend Barry, who does this for stations, but uh, no, he won't so, know. He won't know. Yeah. Well, I'll, plus I'll, I'll you ask said him. you said Barry doesn't do music stations. He does talk stations. No, he does country. Does country? They're all well, country they're all yeah, country well, uh, the licensing and if that licensing is count. entirely different, you know, they're yeah. probably paying like a hundred thousand dollars a year or something like <laughs> that. Some amazing amount of money. Yeah, he and he does the logs and all of that stuff for these. And then you have stations. to do logs for him too. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I just want I I would just like a service that for podcasters all you know, it fits all. And if they did it, yeah. they would probably make a ton of money. For the, for, the, love that. for the publishers, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, Ray's got uh, a podcast. He'd love to play music. Uh, yeah, I, I can only play music that my friends have published that they let me play. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I got a song here I can play because a friend of mine did it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I could probably play, they're playing our song by, uh, from the, from the, hit show they're playing our song that was written by marvin hamlish because marvin hamlish told me i could use it anytime i wanted to so alex i just found yeah. here um there's a company called sound exchange yes charges I know. That... non-commercial web webcasters a flat rate of 500 dollars, but it also charges additional per month fees for all transmissions over 159,140 aggregate tune hours per month now, see, what so, does that mean? That uh, I saw that. $500 for sound exchange. What? That sounds like 24-7. Yeah, you would, you would never do that, never again. that. Yeah, but you what, 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 that what, that does like what does it say? What does it say? How much? Uh, what, what's the aggregate time? One ATH is one person listening to your... Oh. So it's not what you broadcast one aggregate tuning hour is one person listening to your station online for one hour if two people listen to your station online for 30 minutes that's one hour if six people listen for 20 minutes that's two hours so possibly four hours a month for the uh, for gabnet <laughs> <laughs> no, so my question is, how much? What does it say? How much? Those you... non-commercial webcasters who do not exceed forty-four thousand ATH per year fall under the non-commercial microcaster category. While non-commercial microcasters are also charged a flat rate of five hundred dollars, they can waive the requirement to submit monthly or quarterly reports to Sound Exchange for an additional hundred. So Jesus. it costs you six hundred. And you would then waive the uh, the reporting. you wouldn't have to um, do the reporting report in. Okay, so if I paid six hundred dollars a year, okay, I'm I'm ready to do that. I will sign up uh, immediately. Okay, just so you can do a show, Rob, uh, because that only comes out that only comes out to fifty bucks a month. You know, that's not a lot of money. But Maybe how I'll many how many hours do I get out of that? Say per month or per week. It is, but it's based on who streams it, it seems. You mean the listening? 
Let me go back to that. I, I took that as you couldn't exceed forty-four thousand total hours of people listening to you in a in a year. Yeah. So, uh, per year, you, that's right. Yeah. So if you stayed under that, you were in that micro caster category. But if you were to go over that. I don't, I don't have any idea if you're let's in say, that. Let's say, how did they know? I have no how idea. did they know? Let's say, I, yeah, let's say I had 500 people listening to me every time I did one of these shows. That would be 500 aggregate hours if they listened for one hour. 44, right. 44,000 is a lot. Yeah, because you would not, GabNet is still going to be GabNet. It would not be a music channel 24 7. Right. So, how do, how do they know how many people are listening? Yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah. And then I guess it would also be, would that cover your entire network every day all year? Or could you just basically, would it only count, like, if Rob did a show, for example, are they only going to go off of people uh, listening I to that show? I think it's the, net, the network owns the it, license. It would be the music only. It, would, it wouldn't be the, the talk. It, if you're doing, you know... Um, Let's say this I, program, if I did ramble, if I did count. if I did an hour a day and I had ten people listening to me, I was I'd never make that forty four thousand per right. year. So you could probably do that deal then. So when does Rob start? I might do it. <laughs> I because I I do all the I do a lot of theater and musical theater stuff, and I, I can never play the music. Can, can if can I call and bitch that he's not playing the stuff that I wanted to hear? <laughs> I, I just I just wonder. Uh, if it what packages that gives you access yeah. and to. here's what you I said here, well, you he, said I don't want to buy a package but uh, you have to uh, from uh, what uh, I understood you had to sign with Sony you had to sign with no this no, one no, no, no 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 this no. is ASCAP BMI and CSAC right oh. and that's it's sound exchange right okay. yeah that's now, what CSAC he, is yeah. yeah here's the thing I mean I'd do it uh, in a heartbeat but cool. here's the other thing that they can't compute and this is the problem. Let's say I buy the one where I don't have to tell them what I played. All right? Right. Let's say I do the ramble here. I play two songs during the, during the show. What, how do we figure out the aggregate on that? Yeah, you know, I don't the know song that is that... three minutes, so you got six minutes times, you know, uh, uh, you know, if it's two songs. You don't have to figure it out because you don't have to report it for 100 Yeah, you bucks. don't have to report it. So, be under that so how are how are thousand. how are they going to know? They're not going to know. Uh, I, so are know, they just gets, are they just collecting the money and keeping their fingers crossed? Exactly, I think. Yeah, as you're a non-commercial webcaster. You're you're um, and you fall into that category of you don't have a, you know that many listeners. So send me send me an email with you. with uh, with the with the uh, page i can go to on that uh, let me this is look the at prometheus it. radio projects page i just i googled uh, i'm yeah. looking at the sound exchange page right here they yeah. have all the rates and everything yeah you know, i mean and yeah. you know if it's 600 bucks a year and i can play music anytime i want to uh i'm your bitch you know um, yeah. I wonder why more people wouldn't do it. I'm going to do it if we if it makes sense. A yeah. lot of people do it. You know how many radio stations there are? There are a ton well, of internet well, radio let me, stations. Uh, let me ask my friend Barry to research it. What's it called again? Sound one? Sound Exchange. Sound what is exchange. it? Yeah, yeah. Your friend Barry probably won't know about you know how you do it for small little outfits okay. like us. But forty four thousand. Let's see. How like twenty hours a day? It'll give them something else to do. <laughs> yeah. What? What? What would be the? Uh, what would be? Forty-four thousand. We'd have to divide that into a year's worth of time and see how many. No, no, because you not all shows play music. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to find out what uh, what uh, what it equals. If I wanted to play music twenty-four-seven. How many people could I have listening to me at any one time and still not hit the 44,000? How do you figure that, though? So you mean to say if you did an hour a week, and uh, uh, like a show that was an hour a week? Well, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me get out my little calculator here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 365 days in a year times 24 hours a day. Uh equals 
Oh, it's only eighty-seven hundred sixty hours a. Uh, uh, How many? Uh, it's only uh, eight one thousand seven hundred sixty <laughs> hours in a year. So if one person listened to you 24-7, mm -hmm. 365, yeah. that's how many hours it is. So now do the math of how many times that equals 44,000. Well, 40, that'd be about five, five, uh, five people listening 24-7. Yeah, so if you figured if you did, what happens if you did four hours a week of music programming? Uh, if I did what, 24 hours of music programming? No, no, no. Oh, four oh, hours. Just four hours a week of music programming. Now, are oh. the reruns well, uh, here, wait charged wait again? Wait a minute. It wouldn't be any reruns. Oh, they'd just be live? Yeah, but the GabNet is not a, a, a... It's a talk network, right? So this yeah, is well, just... We do, a, have, we do have reruns of the shows, and I'd probably maybe play a couple of pieces of music in there, but... Uh, yeah, but I, that wouldn't count. I don't think that counts. Now, let's see here. What did you say? Four hours times 365... No, no, no. Four hours times four hours a week. Let's you got say. four you days four a, week, a week, and it's only oh. four four broadcasting days in a no, week. No, no. But if I let's say I put it in the programming here, yeah. All right. But let's say we only do four hours a day. That comes out to fourteen hundred and sixty hours. A week. I'll tell you something. We could we could easily do it and not hit that number. And I don't think there's any way they can figure out whether we hit that number or not. Anyway. They can't. They can't. It's so hard they? to figure out the stats on these things. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're all way off. Yeah, yeah. That's how, hey. these, that's how these internet stations are getting away with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I uh, think yeah, most of these minutes. internet stations aren't even what, signing what, what, up. What did you say the service? Name? The name? Yes, they are. No, they just yes, wait they to are. get caught. You, well, I get the pen. You I can't know. get on Shoutcast or any of those without it. Yeah, you can't get on iHeart. They really vet you. Well, yeah, I... I uh, Shout but if you to. got on iHeart or something, you might end up with a lot more listeners, uh, and it would cost yeah, a lot more. Yeah, well, I've already yeah, yeah, I've already applied to iHeart to put this program on iHeart. Never heard anything back. From yeah, me them. either. I can't so, get on there either. No, no. So they, they, they're just blowing you smoke up your ass by saying fill out this form. Yeah, I've you filled know. it out like five times already. Yeah, you're not going to get the kind of listeners you think because. Even if they like what you're doing, you're not doing it 24-7. You're doing it a few hours yeah. a week. Uh, what is the name of that site you went to? Um, the Prometheus? site that I, I went to is called Prometheus Radio Project. But it's, yes. uh, I'll send you the link. What? Why? What? I don't know how that happened, but John Perulis, you did something that fucked us over here. I don't know why that happens. I think it's something that has to do with the new way that we've got this set up. But, uh, John, if you want to call, please just call directly to GabNet Live. Don't use a previous uh, thing. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, not uh, you, John. Not you, John. John, John Perulis. Oh, John. We're not talking to John Rockwell. Am I okay? Did I get on okay? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're <laughs> on okay. There he goes again. I don't need you to uh, do that. I, wait a minute. Uh, he doesn't hear you. I'll write him. Write him and tell him to shut the fuck up. Or at least nah, he's call... a good guy. Don't fuck with him. Nah, he's not. <laughs> uh, Anybody named John? Is I have, a good guy. I have no, no great. I have you know great fondness for him. Uh, anyway, where are we? Uh, well, do you have a full house? That's, that's that's your, I know we do. Mistake. I know we do. We have a full. Yeah, it, I, it, I, oh no, we do not have a full house. We're one short. Oh, of we're one short. Had, yeah, but I can't uh, see everyone that's on the call. I don't know why, but ever since the beginning, it's only just been four people. And uh, I mean, like I know you guys always talk about this. This Skype is a messed up deal. I don't want to touch anything to try to. Cause now everybody I else can deal. see everybody else, right? Now, there he there he goes again. Stop it! Yeah, I, have, I have the old Skype. Uh oh, what happened there? How do how, how do we how do we uh, you know what it is? It's something. With this ringing using the newer Skype, uh, and uh, it's, uh, 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 John, you've got to call using the GabNet Live. I, 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 okay. I handled it. Well, uh, if, who's if John? Do you know him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. John Perlis. Yeah, he's, good. Oh, he's okay. a good guy. He's our, he's our pal, man. Well, he's, we, okay. he's not my pal. <laughs> we anyway. show people. Well, I, have, I don't know why Prometheus, you that. Prometheus what? Uh, broadcast what? I just sent you the link. You'll oh, have it okay. in your email. Oh, okay, good. 
fine. Yeah, I yeah, looked I, at that too. Alex, I don't know why you'd say that. He's a, he's a good guy and he's done Well, he's a good guy because he's done stuff for you, but he... No, 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 he's done nothing to hurt you. He's not been a friend of this program, let me put it that way. Um, anyway, really? anyway, uh, uh, I don't want to get into it, okay? Um, All right. Oh, well, there's the train again. There goes the train. Again. Uh, I hear the train a coming. Yes, uh, John. Coming round. He's not paying the fee. Yeah. What? No, the reason I the reason I logged on, I actually left you an email as well. You know somebody who's been doing a music podcast now for years. Our old mutual friend and and cohort, Dave Weinstein. Yeah. Dave's okay. been doing uh, his uh, his his rock and roll hour <laughs> and a half or something. It's pre he records it mm -hmm. and he runs it, and that he, he did that because he realized that it would cost too much back years ago when he started it. It would cost too much for him to do it live, you know. But if he could do like an hour and you know whatever a certain amount, and then he I think about every I don't know every few days or at least once a week or more, he updates it with another set. You know he likes the old time. No wait a minute wait a minute is he is he pay is he paying for the use of this music? Yes. Yes, I mean, he went through a whole thing with me years ago about that, about what you need, and it's not a, it's not terribly expensive. It's, but I would say, you know, email him or something, or I'll tell him to email you and just, and chat with him about it, because, I mean, he's dealt with this. I don't know, you know, if things are different now, but last time I talked to him about it was like two years ago, but he's been, he's been doing this on, this consistently now for a good half dozen years. And uh, and it all, it's all music, you know. I mean, he talks a little in between, but it's well. Who does he pay? Who does old he... and new music, and I don't know if he has to keep records of anything, the way you know the old radio stations about one 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 week every year yeah. because uh, ASCAP or somebody wanted you to uh, yeah, to write down that. every every song that you ever yeah, wrote. Well, no, what they said, what they that. said with the sound uh, sound uh, exchange, yeah. is that for an extra hundred dollars a year, you don't have to make up lists. You don't have right. to make lists, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I said, I don't know what he uses now, but uh, he's the only guy I know who's been doing music for a while. It's, he may, you know, he, I'm sure he has a pretty good idea of of why. I mean, just he doesn't have a lot of money to spend on this, but he loves to do this show, so it's like. He found a way to do it. <laughs> it's like, well. So there is something here about podcasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says here podcasting is different from streaming your live broadcast oh. online because it is on demand. Music yeah. available to stream on demand will not be covered with a sound exchange license. The permission and permission to publicly perform such music will be obtained from the owner of the sound recording, usually the record label. And if you are making your podcast available for download, you must obtain additional mechani mechanical licenses for the reproduction so the only thing, and distribution yep, of music. The, the only thing, I, I'm seeing the yeah. same thing on another it, website. But now let's say I have the 24-7 feed here. And let's yeah. say I have it in the 24-7 feed. That's not... Uh, That's different. That's, that's not a podcast. That's that's streaming. That's streaming. And mm -hmm. this is for streaming. So you you wouldn't make you could you could play a song during your program that you would put on a podcast like this program. Let's say uh -huh. it's a talk program. If you played a song, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be a big deal. The but if you would not be able to make podcasts out of any of the music shows. There's a, there's a website just found. But could I make uh, a podcast out of a show? Can I make a podcast out of the show that has music? Yeah. Because I would I would think it would depend on how much music you put in it. Mm. See, this is where it all gets very confusing. Why? You wouldn't want to do it on a on a music focused program. You wouldn't want to do a podcast. You'd if want you to played a little bit of music in a podcast. If you know. I don't think it'd be a big deal. Yeah, you want because to... it's not the focus of the program. Yeah, except YouTube uh, would, might, uh, uh, you know, hit you up on well, each one and be, say, you know, YouTube. that might be the case. If you on the ramble, if you uh, were streaming, and uh, and people or people went to watch, you you might have a problem getting. You might get blacked out. Yeah. On because of YouTube. So you just wouldn't, you wouldn't, maybe you'd have to avoid playing those songs on the ramble. Yeah, I know a guy who does a podcast, and he, when he does, he puts it on YouTube, he takes the songs off. 
He, he just doesn't play him. But on the podcast stream, he does. Of course, you can. Because he knows you, he's not going to get caught. You can How do you take him all? Well, he did, because he just has some. He has all. You know what I find? Like a a, lot, a lot of times, I will use out. music, on, occasionally music on the show that YouTube says is copywritten, and then I will get a notification that it is uh, it is copywritten. But because the copyright holder is willing to take any advertising that might run before it. Uh, you don't have to worry uh, about it, but you can't use it for any commercial purposes you yourself. You can't monetize it. Yeah, so, can't so it just has a copyright it. notice on there that there's copyrighted material, but it's okay, you know. Yeah. And especially if it's an old song or something like that, and these companies just go, yeah, if you run a commercial beforehand and we get a little bit of money for that, that's fine with us, you know. Yeah, how do you like this, folks? This is all. This whole show is about how do you do a music show on the internet, and I have no <laughs> fucking no music. idea. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening with like you have like uh, iHeartRadio and they're running all their radio stations on the line. That's a whole different. Well, that's streaming. Uh, uh, well, yeah, wait a minute. That's streaming, and you pay additional, um, and you the, the numbers get pretty steep. But you know what? Radio stations today. Real, really rely on those streams, and so they pay it. Yeah, but you know, I, 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 if if I'm doing a show and it's not commercial, and uh, it it should just be one price, and I can just eat all the music I want. You know, that's yeah. what the whole story is. I can't. Who knows? That would be great. Who yeah, because you're not monetizing it. By the You're way, I, I, I don't like a Korean I, barbecue. I don't know what was happening with the call from John Perulis. But oh, uh, John said he posted a picture of Andy Kaufman tearing something off. Uh, he says, well, I didn't know that Alex didn't like me. Uh, I never did or said anything against him. It's weird. Uh, he's just I don't want to get busy. into that. Well, he's a good guy, and I think that maybe he's a he good guy because something. he's done something for you. No, 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 no. Just I know leave, him. Leave me he, alone. And... Leave me alone. I've never liked the guy when he comes on the show. Well, he's, I've never he's a liked the guy, him. and he's a lefty. I don't <laughs> care if he's a lefty, and I don't care if you think he's a good guy because he sucked your dick. Uh, no, I, you, you know, know, that's that's wrong of you. You know, well, uh, it was wrong of you, you know, to accept the. I don't know what this guy's could have done. You, you, you must have uh, mixed him up with someone. No, I didn't mix him up with anybody. Anyway, here's the. Has point. he been on this platform when I was participating? Or no? uh, one, once in a great yes. while, and then he comes on and he just, you know, everything he says is right. Anyway, let me let me just. I don't want to. I don't want to get into it, Phil. All right. Okay. Is that the guy from Jersey? It, it, no, it's a sore no, point. He lives, lives out in your Phil and I. It's, it's a sore point with Phil and I. But anyway, with anyway. But if Alex doesn't like him, that's fine. Yeah. That, that doesn't mean he can't that's call. Fine. I just don't yeah. like him. All that's right? right. You can't know, like I don't, everybody. I'm not, I'm not stopping yeah. him from calling. I just no, don't. I, no, there, there are a few people I haven't even met on, offline that online I can't stand. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I happen to like all of you guys, but, you know, occasionally there are people who, who are on this panel who I don't particularly like. And, uh, you know, they're still welcome to be part of it. You know, I'm not going to treat them any differently. But I, what, 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 was, what was what was he trying to Phil? Hold on, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Phil. What was he trying to do? Send something, a picture or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, if somehow he says he still loves you and he can and he can no. forgive you, uh, and, I, I, and tell him that. I don't give a shit if I, he can forgive me. I, look, here's the point I'm trying to make: is I'm trying to figure out why it made the new Skype go off. Well, and if I think you weren't such a hard on, maybe uh, when, he'd come out and tell you. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> stop exacerbating this situation, please. All right? Okay. All right? Drop it. Okay. Uh, saving. Maybe on no, Jackson. what I think happened oh, was okay. is he was using a feature of the new Skype, and my new Skype, which happens to somehow be embedded in this Windows oh. machine, uh, uh, it took whatever picture he was trying to send. If he tried to call the program and be part of the program, he probably would have just gotten on like the rest of you. Anyway. Yeah. Yes, Brian. I was just going to ask Phil, uh, why don't you just uh, come come on Jack's program and bring him along and see what uh, can talk tech with him or whatever. Oh, well. And us. Yeah, that's not the point. Uh, I know it's not the point. I'm just trying to make a 
Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he asked me a question. I'm just going to type him back. Yeah. But, chicken salad, the chicken shit. Yeah, but anyway. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's let's quit talking about how Alex is going to be able to play music or not play music. Uh, yeah, we could talk about something more pleasant like Mike Pence and his wife. Oh, what about his wife? What about his wife? Oh, now. The, uh, the what Karen, I believe is her name, who's uh, gone back to teaching in a school that excludes, openly excludes... Uh, LGBT uh, faculty and staff. Mm -hmm. Of course, it likely is a private school. It would have to be a private yeah, school. Yeah, it's a private but school. As far as the optics are concerned, this is, a, as you say, as you've said ad nauseum in the past, Alex, these people, Mike Pence and Donald Trump, are not just presidents of the Republican base. They're presidents of the United yeah. States of America. Uh, not, uh, by the way, now John is calling. So optics matter. And, and here we yeah, go. They do. It, it, we've got John Perulis now. He just right. called the normal way. I guess it was John. Was it that you were trying to send me some kind of picture or text or whatever? Are you there, John? I don't see him. John, John, are you there? Oh, I guess not. I guess he's not. A little Skype guy. But uh, well, it says he's there. Mm. No, well, here we go. Here, here we go. Here, here we go. Here we go. There, there we go. Is. Hey. Did, did you try to send me a picture? Was that was that what that was all about? Well, now he. Uh, uh -oh. You're muted. I think. You're muted. I think you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Can't hear you. Can't hey. hear you. Can't hear you. You might have to go to the Skype test call. Wrong source. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might have. That. Yeah. Anyways, uh, apparently he was probably trying to send a picture because once he tried to just call the program, he's fine. You know, except for the fact that his audio isn't working. What? Now, what's the, what does that say? Let me figure this figure. out. Okay. Yeah, figure it out. You know, you're up in the corner doing whatever you're doing. Where the rest of us are here. Um, yeah, uh, Pence is a rather onerous kind of human being. Uh, and, and it has nothing to do with his politics. It has to do with that whole religious bullshit. Yep. You know, yeah. and, and while Which I, is one and the same to me. And, and by the way, I, I, you know, I will stand up for somebody's right to religion. You know, oh, oh, wait a minute. I think maybe John... John, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys, but can yeah, you hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. yeah. You're feeding back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but you're feeding you back. back. You've got some audio coming back. Wait a minute. It's uh, oh, it's your earbuds. Okay, so you're gonna do the sound through the earbuds. Can you hear me? Yeah, I yeah. can hear you. Just give yourself a little more volume if you can, and you'll yeah, be fine. Okay. Anyway, we're, you were trying to send a picture or something? No, 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 no. Full house. Woo! Now it's wild. Yeah. What's the That's song? Picture? I forgot the song to the TV show. <laughs> to what TV show? Full house song. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Is that is that better? Yeah, low volume. Low volume, but we can hear you. Yeah. Damn. I've got everything cranked up. Well, echoey now. Well, okay. How about now? Oh, that's fine. Better. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah Alex. I, I, you know, I'm sorry if I offended you in some way. I I always think very highly of you. In fact, I was full of joy the other night i've just been overdosing on andy kaufman mm. when andy kaufman was hot i was living in an ashram i had a guru i i had a totally different life and i never watched tv i didn't even know andy kaufman existed and then i started getting into it again because of uh, man on the moon and jim carrey mm. and all that and I saw you in there. I mean, you introduced the guy. I think you were in Man in the Moon, if I'm not mistaken. No, I know. That... No, I wasn't. No, I've never, in fact, I never met Andy Kaufman. Really? No. Because mm -mm. oh, then they must have used you. No. In, uh, did, were, were you in... Um, Believe me, I would, I would have known if I was in Man in the Moon. Were, were you in um, a Bill Graham uh, punchline thing or or something back in the eighties? Oh, uh, several times. Uh, he hosted it. Well, it, we yeah we did yeah. it yeah we did it at uh, we did it at Wolfgang's is what we did it at. Oh right right right. 
So you and you never met Andy Kaufman, but I thought no. I saw a film no. where you introduced him. Never, or never. Oh, never. Okay. Had, I never. In fact, I never saw Andy Kaufman perform live. That might have been an Alex Bennett poser that introduced him. Yeah. You no, know, it could have been. It could have been somebody made to look like you, Alex. Because I mean, that's how I was introduced to you back in the eighties. My wife and I used to watch the show on KQED all the time. Yeah, and comedy tonight. I mean, comedy tonight. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> part, I, I'm still trying to work my way around this new Skype. It's a piece of shit. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, well, I think what the problem was, you were trying to send yeah. me a picture of some sort, weren't you? No, it was, it was the picture of Andy Kaufman. I, okay, I, okay. I, but I, what I, happened I, was you tried yeah. to send me a picture, whatever remnant of... Uh, 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 of, um, of the new Skype I have on this machine, I'm not using it, uh, somehow gets ticked off when you tried to send a picture. When you're trying to do the video, it comes right directly to the old Skype. Oh, I was sending you a picture on your Facebook page, not not uh, on Skype or anything. Then how come it was coming through as a... Uh, uh wow that was strange it was coming yeah, through like know. you were like you were trying to come through on uh, uh no on Skype. i thought see that's how i thought i offended you because i found a picture of andy kaufman on the internet mm -hmm. tearing off a trump mask and i thought oh that's really funny alex will like that because he knows andy kaufman and I sent that to you on your Facebook page, and I, and I didn't hear anything. No, no, but wait a minute. A couple of minutes oh, ago, a couple of I minutes ago, guy, wait, you know? wait a minute, listen to me. A couple of minutes ago, you were trying to call, the, were you trying to call us a couple of minutes ago? I was calling you, Alex Bennett, and for some reason, oh. uh, Skype wouldn't let me through. So You know what? Yeah, I had to call the show. It's, it, you're yeah. probably trying to call the uh, a private Alex Bennett. Not, I don't think not, he has that. Yeah, well, I do. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, if you call that, that's, that's probably what went off here. You know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway. No, I love the show. I, You know, I apologize if I said ever said anything. I don't know. I just I just get attitudes. Uh, don't mind me, John. Oh, I'm an old... Bad I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm an old asshole, okay? And every now and then... one time you flipped me off and screamed at me. Did that I? That was fine. When did I do that? Oh, like 10 years ago. <laughs> You had your camera at home or something, and I was like, like you were just gotten fired, and you were all pissed off, and then I said, ah, Alex isn't even there or whatever, and you looked at the camera, and you go, ah, fuck, ah, it's me. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, you know, get, getting pissed off is part of human nature, you know. I mean, I got the thing from Wavy Gravy. You know, I was filming him at this parade, and he, my wife used to be his massage therapist. So I'm, That's a lot to miss. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I could tell you details, but we're on a public radio show. So. Uh, so, so I'm there with my son, you know, filming him in a parade, and he just looks at me and he flips me the bird, and I said, "Whoa, what did I do?" You know. And, and do you remember that critic uh, on the Chronicle? Oh shit! Oh, oh, the guy with the patch. The, the drama. No, not that guy. Uh, the drama ki uh, critic. He gave me a really bad review for a video I did for a dance company. I thought it was a great video. And, uh, man, he just raked me through the coals. But I really liked that because I got noticed by the guy. Alan Ulrich. That's it. Alan Ulrich. Do, do you guys remember him? No, no. I don't yeah, remember yeah, him at all. But oh, any, anyway. Just, uh, uh, um, the guy I was thinking of was Warren somebody. Yeah, Warren Hinkle. Warren yeah. Hinkle. Warren Hinkle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. well, all is forgiven. We're all uh, okay. We're all took, all yeah. kumbaya. We're all good. And and D <laughs> Brian Ludwig has his hand up, and undoubtedly he'll have something to say about uh, scum sucking sperm drenching. <laughs> You're not far off. Uh, what I would say is, in the almost two years now, it'll, I believe it'll be two years in March that I've participated in this program. Uh, you ever get that way towards me, Alex? You, you know what will happen in retaliation. No, right? of course. I, I think he'll yeah. come looking for you. <laughs> you, you. You bat a baseball in my court, I'll bat a volleyball or basketball back in yours. Well, there are a couple of times you've actually pissed me off. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You know, uh, because you, uh, you were on a night where you were on a, on a, on a bender, you know, <laughs> about something, you know, and you, you wouldn't give up on it. You know, you just no, have to keep... 
You know, I argue something about I argue about something passionately, especially I won't give up. As my father used to say to me, I'm like, uh, and he's the same way. Yeah. We're, we're like pit bulls or great white sharks. Our eyes turn white, and we won't let go until the motherfucker shredded to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? I gotta That's make sure I don't ever go there. By the way, I have to. I, I, I have to say he's in Pitt, he's in Pittsburgh. And nobody to, does go there. Thank I God. have to compliment <laughs> Skype by saying that in June of 1917 they got it right because it looks great tonight. You know, all the people are there. They're all fitting into the screen. They've all got their names under their pictures. I mean, how great is this? It just got worse and worse and worse and then finally they said we can't get it any worse unless we tear it all apart and rebuild it into this absolutely impossible to use program and that's what we have now i have the old one i love it this one the one we're using yes. here i think uh, i have the same version as you. there's a reason there. why this one is immune i don't know why and they're probably trying to figure out at Skype right now why it is. You know, hey, you know all this stuff is like a, a dream time for me. Mm. You know, like sometimes you're having a dream and you're trying to do something and like everything gets fucked up, right? So this happens on computers all the time. I mean, yeah, I still use Yahoo Mail. And they always change everything after like uh, a, a yeah. few months when well, he, they change the format and the interface. Uh -huh. And they did this with Skype, and I like I was trying to get on the show, and like, what did I do in wrong? I had to change my password. You know what I couldn't figure? What I couldn't figure years ago yeah. was Microsoft Word. Now, what does uh, Microsoft uh, Word do? You type sucks. a letter. All right, that's basically what you do. It's got templates. They have oh, they have overhauled it and overhauled it and updated it it's and sure. and and so called so called improved it. And I want to know what it does now that's more than writing a letter. You know, I mean, it's how, part how of do you. Suite. They, they, it's oh, part of a suite that uh, you can take uh, Excel things and drop it into it. Oh, that's uh, very nice. And that's you can wonderful. Take other stuff Great. and drop it in. Great. Blow me. It just used to be easy to do. use. They, they used to have regular menus at the top, and then they put those stupid square things. No, I couldn't figure out ever how to use it again. I just yeah. stopped. Brian? Yeah, Brian's got his hand up. Brian? Way. I was just gonna. I was just gonna give you the concluding paragraph to this previous statement I made. A converse <laughs> concluding paragraph that Let's if go. I heard someone on the relic, if uh, hypothetically speaking, if I ever heard someone like Avi Ravenhoff rail against you, uh, to, and and when I were like in the room next to him, or if I could call in, I'd 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 I'd, I'd be lighting into him as well. Oh yeah. Well. You know. uh, everybody's everybody can have an opinion and it, you know and it doesn't matter but you know when you you know i you know i stuck up i thought the, the opinion was wrong and i i said something that's all oh well how good of you yeah <laughs> hey, I, I would do the same thing for you huh? you know if you had a soul oh if I'd somebody if somebody you. came you know every time somebody comes on this show and says something bad about you phil I agree with I them. You I up. agree with them. <laughs> hey, well, yeah. this this is like a family, you know. This is like group therapy. See, like we, like yeah. my my parents right. were like uh, conservative Catholics, uh, voted Republican through That's and smart. through, and then when all this sex stuff happened, uh, you know, with Cardinal uh, Law in Boston, you know, and yeah. uh, you, you know the guy act, it was actually under indictment by the Attorney General of Boston. And he, he flees to the Vatican, and he gets sheltered there. So I'm watching this on the TV, and I'm back at Cape Cod with my parents when they were still alive. And I said, geez, I said, you know, Cardinal Law to go to jail. And my dad almost threw me out of the house. He said, oh, you know, he's a good guy. They deserve, these priests deserve a second chance. And I said, ah! you know, I went crazy. And that, you That's know, exactly I, how my dad is. You know, and I love my parents. So, you know, like Phil... I disagree with Phil on Trump. You know, I just no no thing about that. But I love Phil. I mean, he, you know, I when you get to meet people in person, it's totally different. You 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 know, all of these crazy political ideas and everything kind of fade away, and you know, real real things come. So up. you you can be bought is what you're saying because Phil <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil Phil is basically your your run of the mill asshole. So no, you know, not in person. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I know Ray Renati too. Ray's a cool guy. Uh, yeah, uh, we're all pals. Like we all three hang out, man. 
Yeah. Ray, Ray's a yeah, major. And ma we watch people minute, beat the shit out of each yeah. other. Ray's and, a, and it's and it's John's fault. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> Ray's a major prick. Okay, and and uh, I am deep down inside. You know the one thing you can't say about Ray is, boy, what a prick. You know you really can't. <laughs> it's impossible. Now the two I noticed tonight the two comfiest people on the panel are Josh Wheeler. Who's got that great? What is that? What is that? Is that a? Is that one of those? I'm going to sink chairs? into the chair chairs. Uh, yeah, it's just the recliner I have down here in my uh, downstairs. My, I guess you would call this uh, my sports TV room or whatever. Uh, yeah. Man cave. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and, I, I and, hate that term, so I never use it. But I guess that's what you would. And call Rob, it, yeah. are you, Rob, are you in bed? I'm laying in the. Yeah, I'm. I'm leaning up against the padded uh what do you call it well, and so where's your wife she's 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 been downstairs watching tv oh so uh, okay so she's you... upstairs spending money buying shit on the fucking internet like everybody else's <laughs> wife yeah <laughs> <laughs> my wife i'm literally we don't have a a uh, uh what do you call a doorman but I've kind of become the doorman for my wife because every day, 10 packages come from Amazon. <laughs> I mean, and it's not like she's going out and buying the farm. She's getting like, you know, lip gloss, you know, or then she's getting like, uh, oh, some Afrin, you know. And, and it's like, uh, it, it's 20 bucks worth of stuff. It cost Amazon $40 to send, <laughs> you know. Uh, but... Uh, uh. Uh, what? What are you? What are you? Uh, what? What are you? Geek. What are you doing? I have a massager. The, oh, <laughs> oh that, that just come from I Amazon. I saw that. Oh, it feels good. I got it for yeah. my wife. She never uses it. I use it all the time. All right. I don't want to disrupt the show. Let me turn my mic off. <laughs> hey, I, I have a, I have a friend uh, who's a YouTube star mm -hmm. uh, woman, and uh, she's a. Uh, kind of a exotic type you know uh, does a nude female monitor uh, you know uh, photo shoots and stuff yeah and she, she just on her facebook page she just pictured took a picture of her dog in her living room and and posted it on facebook mm -hmm. and then like she got embarrassed because uh she had this whole box full of dildos you know of different size dildos on the couch right in the back of the dog so, uh, Ray, you're not alone, man. You know, this. Yeah. yeah those are dog some... toys. <laughs> dog toys. <laughs> I, can, I can do a wide shot here, and you wouldn't believe what you'd see. But I'm going to keep it f f zoomed in. All right. What do you mean? Because of that, that vibrator you're wearing around your neck? Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. Man, you guys, you gotta all get one. You know, of these you know what I like I mean, about this program. We, this is such a dysfunctional group of human beings. This is just amazing. Why else would we be here? I mean, I mean, no one else. Everyone else has. What's like interesting about life. this, about this new, about the Skype we're using? If you added another person now, they'd still fit in perfectly. Uh, well, and and I'm I'm amazed. Out. Yeah. I, well, I'm if one more person can call, it'd be good. But I mean, hey, I'm, I don't see you, Alex. We're on my screen. Uh, I just see down in the corner. I see Alex. There, you had a new Skype. You I, if you have the new Skype, Skype, I'm probably one of the bubbles oh, up at the, the top. The new Skype, oh, there you go. Okay, you just popped up. Yeah, yeah, there's my my bubble. Okay, you know that's what yeah. I hate about it. It's hey, can I show can I show a little toy I just bought? Sure, right. Is is it another vibrator we're dealing with here? <laughs> What what what's that? GoPro Hero Seven. This thing is amazing. It it has a built-in stabilizer that is almost as good as a gimbal. You know, you could walk with this and. Well, and I actually have a gimbal uh, for the, for the GoPro. I when they were making them, uh, I used to shop at gimbals, and it's really <laughs> good. But uh, I understand, yeah, the Hero Seven is pretty good for that. But they they've been doing good stabilization since five actually but they've gotten better and better what i had uh, have on my five is a uh, is a thing it's like it's like a, a steady cam and yeah. and uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh very smooth uh, never no Four. jerking around or anything <laughs> Four. oh it's gopro time <laughs> well i'm going back to a camcorder uh, yeah. myself yeah i'm gonna put out a couple of grand for a good one because you know i love the gopro 
And also, I can shoot 4K with my iPhone, all right? Yeah. You know, yeah. and do a Alex, great... go down to Adorama. Uh, they got a whole section of camcorders that you can I, fool around I, with. I don't hey, go... Sony, I don't, Sony I don't, I don't, I, if I'm going to go, I'll go to B&H. Anyway, yeah. the point yeah. I'm making, yeah. the point I wanted to make... They were all Jews. The point I wanted to make was that uh, uh, I can use my iPhone, uh, and uh, it has steady cam in it as well and uh takes 4k pictures and looks great but there's just something about a camcorder and the fact it's got a zoom lens on it and you can you know adjust the why, lighting why don't you get it, a it, uh a uh, X, uh slr and uh, because i don't want video. because i don't want one uh, but then you can I to change the lenses. I don't want one. I'm ha yeah. I I'd be happy. I don't intend to change lenses because I'd have to go out and buy lenses. <laughs> Phil, he doesn't want one. I don't think he wants one. No. 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 So <laughs> leave him alone, Phil. I'm, I'm with you, Alex, on the, on the camcorder. Sony just came out with yeah. a Dynamite uh, 4K uh, full-frame uh, camcorder. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what the the, the uh, description of it is, but it's two. It's about two grand at uh, B and H right now. Yeah, you know, I was thinking of picking one up for my fights. You know, but it, it's a great little yeah. tool. Yeah. I don't know if you want to spend that much. Yeah. But. And I love look the picture you get off a uh, off mm -hmm. uh, off a GoPro is breathtaking. It's yeah. just breathtaking, uh, but. You don't have the ability to zoom in and out. You don't have the ability to have yeah. a little heft going for you, you know. Uh, and and that's why. You know, we haven't heard a word from Jeff Stein tonight. That's because I I just got in here late. Yeah. And then you guys were talking about something, and I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh, the, the <laughs> uh, music uh, stuff? Yeah, the music stuff. Let's talk well, about something I that could, Jeff have, could answer one thing. Well, look, we've got nine minutes. We've got nine minutes left of this program. Actually, before the theme, we've got seven minutes. So, what's Trump done today that we need to no, talk Jeff, about? No, Jeff. Jeff wanted to say something. You cut him off. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I wanted to say something about the vice president. Oh, and you, you started to mention it. Yeah. Every time I look on YouTube, which I use to, to, for cooking and things like that. Yeah. All of a sudden, this dopey little video comes up with the vice president telling him about what new christian bullshit is is uh is something like he invented christianity in himself and it's such bullshit well you know i i don't mind people being christian i i i mean i do have something against religion in general but i mean i don't have anything against christians i don't have anything against any religion in particular I, I only like I only hate it. <laughs> no, I only hate it when they start proselytizing. Keep it to yourself. You know, keep it to yourself. <laughs> believe what you believe, and and Don't do it. Absolutely. What What were you going to say, Jeff? He doesn't. He's on my internet ten times a day. Yeah. I don't understand why. I, I don't know. I don't and he's trying. He's trying to proselytize. He's trying to. Yeah. He he would like nothing more than convert you, you heretic Jew, into a Christian. You know, uh, Jews for Jesus. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, I, yeah. I don't. Please, you know, it's fine if you're a Christian. I I'm not going to try and tell you your belief is full of shit, even though it is. But I, uh, I am not going to try and convince you that it is, and and demean you because you are a Christian. Uh, on the other hand, please don't try to convert me. I'm a Jew. I'm very happy with it. It's much easier than being a fucking Christian because I don't have to go to church, and I'll still go to heaven because there's no hell. Yeah, but we don't have to fast. We, you think we, we do? We we, we fast one day <laughs> yeah. a year on Rosh Hashanah if 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 yeah. you want to. Passover. <laughs> you, oh, you, don't you, you can eat, listen. You can eat. Either. You can eat pig if you want to. And the fact is, when you die, if you're Jewish, you're going to heaven. Okay, there is no hell. I felt yeah, it was, it was the like great. No it no it was the greatest selling point for uh, uh for uh, uh judaism mm -hmm. uh that i yeah. could think of it we should have ads it says join the jewish religion we have no hell 
you know? Because uh, <laughs> it's hell on earth. There's yeah, still, uh, like Carlin, George Carlin used to say, there's still uh, guys doing time in hell on the meat wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. You know, By the right, way, on this, on the uh, in the Kaminsky uh, method, uh, the guys, the guy's wife dies, and they're holding the the uh, di some uh, dinner or whatever at the house after the funeral, and uh, the rabbi comes over to Alan Arkin and says, uh, "Hey, listen, you know you're supposed to cover all the mirrors with curtains uh, when somebody has died." And he said, well, I'm not that kind of Jew, and I'm not putting curtains up all over. He said, well, you really should, but I'm sorry for your loss. And then he looks at him and says, uh, by the way, try the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's not kosher. <laughs> hey, my favorite scene in a film was, oh, God, remember, with George Burns and John Denver? Mm -hmm. And... George Burns has to go in front of a, a court, and, yeah. and you know, and there's Christians, a Catholic, and a rabbi, and everything, and right. so they Who all ask God, him, yeah. "Well, whose whose religion is the right one?" And so George Burns says, you know, puffs on his cigar and says, "I don't believe in any of them." Yeah. You know, it was a great line. Yeah, but uh, no, the Kaminsky. Uh, I, I'm watching it all over again. I just love that show. The so watch method. the joke again, and you'll find out the, you got the, it wrong. No, 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 I didn't get it wrong. I told you exactly as it is told on the show. The first time you told me, you said it didn't have anything with uh, doing the secretary or the nurse. No, I didn't say that. I said it wasn't the old joke about I got good news, I got bad news. This is the kind of argument I have with my wife. The, you know, the yeah. good news is you've got ca bad news is you've got cancer. What's the good news? I'm fucking my nurse. That's the joke, but that wasn't the joke in the show. Oh. Bada boom, bada Screwed boom. Up the joke. Uh, but if if you haven't seen the Kaminsky method on Netflix, you gotta watch it. I know, it I'm gonna watch. It. You're probably right, though, Alex. Uh, Jew, uh, Judaism could be a bigger selling point with that uh, slogan. But you know, people want to believe you that they'll be celestially rewarded for things they do you, in this life. You don't have to work being a Jew. I mean, I want to go up to these Hasidim here in New York and go, "Why are you working so hard at this? You know, you don't have to." Yes, John. Yeah, uh, one of the one of the two or three really out the far uh, end of end of the fa my Facebook friends that are into every conspiracy and everything else. One that put up one of these. Memes I didn't know I was about, a Facebook friend with you. Oh well, <laughs> no. Are you kidding? I you know were, what he's talking you about. You were a they gentle you lamb. Like a you, you were a gentle lamb and a ba a babe in the woods compared compared to some of these people but oh, the it. thing is but this was one of these ones that said you know under sharia law you can't do this you can't do that it's like as if we're all going to become under sharia law but the last one all in all caps which is why i wondered whether this was actually a satirical thing that they didn't realize was was no bacon i'm <laughs> like no bacon i don't want to be under sharia law well yeah sh sharia law is like kosher you know I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Jews and Muslims are very similar. Okay. Well, the person to put up hated Catholic, by all. The person to put up was a Catholic, so I don't think they realize that it's not just Sharia that has that doesn't you know you, have uh, a lot of pork in their diet. <laughs> John, John, you know what you should have said in response to that? No, that no, no bacon bullshit. You should have said, well, maybe. But if you're uh, Chinese Taoist, you at least get to eat dog. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, there's oh, our yeah. there's Fuck there's you all. there's our theme song. <laughs> oh, that's our the Brian. That's our Brian. Person? He's a special yeah. child. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Josh Wheeler. Brian, do you have any bump stops? Can I can I please <laughs> finish the show, Phil? <laughs> Phil's right. show now. How to get a joke in. Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Love having you Only here. Only yours. Yeah, because it, you look so comfortable. Uh, Charlie uh, Wallace, thank you very much. Ray Renati, uh, always nice to have you here. And that very cute, adorable dog. Uh, uh, Brian Lug Ludwig, uh, thank you. Uh, you're our adorable dog. Uh, John Perulis, <laughs> uh, we're friends again now. Right, exactly. John? Right. Okay, mm -hmm. we're friends again. Uh, Phil Meyer, uh, thank you so much for making us friends again. 
It's my pleasure. Uh, yeah, oh, and, yeah, and, yeah. And your life is better for it. Now shut up, you motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rob Alfano, thank you. Always love having you here. Jeff Stein, great having you. And, of course, John Rockwell. Nice to have you here as well. Why don't all you guys uh, give it a big uh, wave goodbye to our audience so they can wave back and I can wave at you and that's it, okay? That's what they are. That's our citizens panel for tonight. Boy, a lot of work on that one. It, but it was fun tonight. You know, I've really enjoyed the shows this week and I think it has something to do with the Skype that we're now using. Not the one they want us to use, but the one we're using. Anyway, next, Jack Bishop, The Intersection. Uh, we're back again on Tuesday, starting off at 9.30 with uh, Damian Chaplin in The Exchange. And then at 10 o'clock, I'll be back once again with The Ramble. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.